So this was a mangrove restoration area. Um, you can see how dense they are now, providing great habitat. Anytime you get the chance to snorkel around mangroves, it's great to see the variety of marine life that you can find there. Here is a checkered puffer that's a little bit wary of me, kind of heading away, and a schoolmaster, which is a type of snapper. Just a few of the very many animals you can find here. And of course, it all starts with this propagule. You can see it's just kind of hanging out there, bobbing along along the bottom. But eventually, hopefully, it will root in and start to take its place, creating a fantastic shoreline that will protect from erosion and provide habitat for lots of animals. In South Florida, one of the most important coastal trees are mangroves, and there are several different species, and I'll definitely touch base on all of them eventually, but today I just want to talk specifically about red mangroves and specifically the propagules, or essentially their seeds. Now, you can find these um, throughout our coastal regions because they float around. I got a bunch of them from a local beach. Sometimes it's just too rough to go out snorkeling and diving, but there are other things to do on the beach like walking the rack line and looking for things like sea beans or even picking up some trash. In this case, I found some red mangrove propagules. So here in this bucket, I have what we collected and these mangroves, uh, here's a nice sample one here. Um, these propagules float around uh, and then eventually stick into the mud somewhere and start to grow. And that's what I'm trying to encourage. And we're doing that, and it's actually having some success. You can see there's a few little stubs of roots starting to grow on this. But I'm gonna actually set these up in this little 20 gallon in a floating mechanism until the roots start to get a little bigger. And then I'm gonna start planting them. So what I ended up doing is grabbing a old pool noodle that I had hanging around the house, and I made some holes in it. And so what we're gonna do is stick the mangrove propagules in the pool noodle holes and set it in here to float right side up until they start to get a little bit more roots under them. Red mangrove seeds are actually called propagules because they are already germinated while they are on the parent plant. This is called vivipary, otherwise known as live birth. It's really a kind of a cool adaptation. So now they're all set up in here for a little while uh, until their roots get a little bit larger and we transfer them into a soil-based setting. So the little mangrove uh, propagules have been sprouting some roots. It's time to get them out of this sort of floating situation and into a more stable sediment. So this is not gonna be the permanent situation, but uh, to get them growing a little bit more, essentially what I'm gonna do is use this tray to create a water level and then put um, essentially the mangroves planted in these pots and it's gonna, they're gonna sit in the water a little bit and that way they can continue to grow, maybe sprout some leaves, get a little bigger while I figure out what the permanent like um, planting situation is going to be. So I'm going to start by putting a little bit of rock gravel. For the rock gravel, all this is doing is stopping all the sediment from getting out into the water that much, but allowing the water to come in. Putting a little soil in each one. Also have some just soil from around here because just to kind of mix it in a little bit. A little bit more like they would be used to in the wild. Time to get the mangroves. All right, so I've got all of my mangroves here and we're gonna start putting them in. Because this is sort of the next step, um, I know I probably need more than what I'm going to be giving them, but I'm going to multi-plant some of these in the same pot for the time being. All right, 
Got him. Now I've mixed some salt water in here. It's about 24, 25 parts per thousand. I'm going to make a little salt bath for them to sit in and for the uh, sediment in the soil to sort of absorb. We're going to put a little bit of fresh water on top just to kind of give them a start. And now we'll see how it goes and keep watching them. There's some little tips coming up too already with some sprouts, possibly leaves in just a little bit. So it's been about a week and a half and the mangroves have actually started to sprout some leaves and they're just really looking really good. So of course the next step is to start to design the habitat that I'm going to be growing these guys in. That's coming up soon. So until next time, keep exploring.